Hello again, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you could come back and watch again. We're gonna try another sandwich pour. Um, unfortunately, my last sandwich pour, as I was scraping the sides, I ended up stretching it and I lost my entire um, look that I had had on there. Um, okay, no big deal. We just um, scraped it off and we'll start again. So I'm going to do a sandwich pour with the following colors. I have pink tourmaline, violet, um, 24 karat gold, um, deco art, um, Liquitex Basics, Payne's Gray, and then white, which is Liquitex Basics. And pouring medium is Floetrol today. Um, the white also has a combination of water with the Floetrol. Um, just because I want that a little thinner, um, I can see cells forming. Um, I hope they stay little. I don't want big ones. So let's hope that we can get this going. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, we're only gonna do three cups this time, just because I think the one I had the last time, I had five cups and that was just way, 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 way too much paint. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and mix this up. Cells are just forming away. It's probably too dark to have next to the violet. How's everybody doing today? Nice Saturday afternoon here. Am I running around done? Thought I'd do one more painting for the day get what I wanted to for the weekend, but that's okay, I'm good. Focus on getting some varnishing done the rest of the weekend. It's all good. Share what you do for fun in the comments, I'd love to hear. What's your favorite pastime? watching videos. Um, painting, what kind of crafts you do. Sounds like fun. time I did that pour, um, the white kind of sank to the bottom. I don't want that to happen again, so we're going to, hopefully that won't happen. But we'll get it one of these times. We will get it. Okay, good with that one. That's good. Let's go here. I think I also only went one time with each color, um, and that might have been, but again, so much paint on the canvas. Let's just. And here I am, one glove again. I don't know why I keep doing that, but. Right. 
the gold seems to be covering very beautiful in here. Finish up with this pink, but I'm only gonna put the pink in the last two, I think. These two in the ends. And that's okay if it has a little bit more pink in there because the pink is so pretty. And they don't all end with the same color, that's good. Thicker consistency with the with the middle sandwich part of the of the thing. Thinner consistency of the white. And let's just hope it doesn't sink to the bottom. It doesn't mound at all. It just sinks right away. So let's hope that this doesn't sink through like it did the last time. So let's go ahead with the sandwich part, the top part of the bread. There you go. sink through. Please, please, please. Last time I had to make another cup because I didn't have enough. I'm hoping I have enough this time. I only use this much in each cup on the very, on the beginning part, so. And there's a crazy fly in here. how these are looking. I'm trying to not get those giant cells like I had in the last ones as well. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let me flip them. leave it sit for a minute or so. Cups on the corners. Look at all them cells forming already. I use absolutely no silicone in these people. None. Must be my Floetrol. Of the paint is just so much to the middle of the canvas. Whoa. I've never had my paint react to the floor trawl like this, so I'm not really, really sure at all what the deal is. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this along the side just because. Last bit across this way. 
you know for sure this is going to make some beautiful, beautiful skins. Okay, wow. Look at that pink tourmaline in that section over there. Okay, let's move the paint as the middle is sinking. Wow. Was that pink so pretty? And remember how weird this is that every cup has the same color in there twice but each cup poured out so different so different gosh look at that oh my gosh okay we're not gonna touch this at all anymore I'm not really big on these big scales that I came out but this is really actually very pretty I am not gonna touch actually gonna let it just sit here I don't have to move it tonight it can stay right here in the garage otherwise I gotta bring it in the house and I don't have the space for that so it can just stay right here I know it's gonna take a while to dry but at least I'll be able to move it tomorrow and get some paint on these parts that don't have any over here and then I'll take you down for a close-up Check the other side. You can only get to it by one way. Make sure there's paint all the way around before I take you down. I don't want to move it. <laughs> the last time I moved it, I wrecked it.
weird. I poured paint on that corner. I should torch too before I take you down. Good. This side has plenty. Oh my gosh. I'm always losing this crazy tweezers. That is gray. Okay. Take my gloves off for a second. Oh my heaven's sakes, did this turn out good. This one is probably really, really good to me. bubbles. Okay. Let's take you down for close up. Look at the gold. This is the spot right here. You can't really see this, but it's just sparkling. And the pink. I'm pretty sure I'll have more cells popping out, more of the little cells, the kind of, I don't mind getting on my painting. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell. You'll get notifications every time I post. Can't wait to see you for the next painting. Have a wonderful day.